Hello, my name is Ryan Tabor and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today we're going to be looking at something that I call the Dynamic Action Selector. This is something that I came up with in response to a client need to have a different one step displayed depending on the service classification. The situation that I ran into is that in one classification we'd have a one step displayed here and if we change the classification there'd be a different one step displayed. The issue was that there was always a gap that was left in between uh, and there are other situations this could apply to as well just depending on what uh, what, what type of categorization are displaying what actions in the pane over here. So there's a clean way to handle this that I will be showing you now. The way that I addressed this issue was with the use of an embedded form. Underneath the control properties, you can see that I am using an expression that evaluates the classification of the incident or service request and displays a corresponding form. So if one step conditions one are active, the action tab one will display. If one step two's categorization is active, action tab two will display. And then if neither of them are active, a default tab will display. So how this will work is I will take the contents of this action tab, copy it, and paste it here. I'll then take the second set and put it on action tab two. And then I'll take our default options that are appearing at the very bottom and put them on my default tab. All right, so there are going to be slight issues with alignment uh, but I'm not going to worry about that right, right now, as this is just for demonstration. So I'll delete those and move my embedded form up. All right, save and publish. All right, so we can see that our test category one service classification is active, and we are displaying our uh, our custom selection for actions. If we change this to category two, we have our one step two display. And if we clear out the classification, we have our default list of actions displayed. So this is a way you can dynamically show which actions are displayed in the sidebar. I hope this was useful to you and we will see you next time.